My name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own candy cane cocktail. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by to paint with me today. So today I have a few different goodies and surprises in store for you all. But as always, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. So the first surprise is I received some goodies from Hippie Crafter. Hippie Crafter is a family-owned company that specializes in creating crafting supplies for both beginner and professional artists, and I am so grateful that they sent me over some supplies. So they sent me over some canvases to work with. So today I'm gonna to be working with a nine by 12 inch canvas. They also sent me over some acrylic paint. So I have a full set of 20 different colors um, and their acrylic paint says it is rich, vibrant and ultra pigmented. So today we're gonna to put that to the test. Now, before we get to started, I have one more surprise for you. I am going to be using their um, supplies that they sent over, so their canvases and their paints over the next five days because it's been so long since I've painted with you all. Um, I know I took a hiatus previously and I took another small one because life has been hectic managing um, my business and my part-time job and trying to create content for you all as well. So because I haven't been around much, we're doing five days of Christmas and today is day one. And I'm going to be using Hippie Crafter for all five days. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, before we get started, I'm going to go over all of the supplies that I'm using. So like I said before, I am using my supplies from Hippie Crafter today. They sent me over some 9 by 12 inch canvases. So I'm working with the 9 by 12 inch stretched canvas. You can use this canvas size or paper size of your choice. It's completely up to you. You also want to make sure that you have a plate or a palette for your paint. You want to make sure that you have some different um, size acrylic brushes. And you also want to make sure you have some napkins to dry them off on. You want to make sure you get yourself a cup of cold water to wash your brushes out. And we're going to be doing a little bit of drawing today. So you want to also make sure you get yourself a piece of chalk. Now, as far as my paint today, I'm going to be using about, let's see, I'm going to be using about seven different colors out of the 20 colors that they sent me. So I'm going to be using titanium white. I am going to be using Mars black. I'm also going to be using emerald green. And these colors do look super vibrant even in the packaging. I'm using cobalt blue. I'm also going to be using some orange yellow. I like how this color looks. Can't wait to see what it looks like on canvas. I'm using mid yellow. And then last, I am going to be using scarlet. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we are going to be creating a candy cane cocktail. So we're going to kick this five days off with some fun, some adult fun. So if you are under 21, you can change your drink up a bit or skip on over this tutorial. So for this one, I'm going to start by simply filling in my entire background. Um, so that's why we're going to be using the chalk because we want to fill the background in, let it dry, and then we're going to draw our drink on. So for the background, I'm going to go ahead and get some of my Mars Black. So I'm gonna put some of that on my plate. Again, if you have a palette, you can put it on your palette. And what I can tell from this paint already is that this paint seems to be a more heavy body, so more, more thicker than what I normally use. Normally I work with Blit acrylic paints, so it's a little more fluid. This one is more heavy body, so it's definitely more pigmented. Um, so this is going to be a good one. I can already tell. Um, so I'm working with a smaller flat brush first. If you have a bigger flat brush, that's completely fine. But you just want to make sure it's a flat brush because all we're pretty much doing is getting the entire canvas filled in. So I am just going to fill the entire canvas in with this black. And this paint is 
really just gliding right on here it's definitely like i said um heavy body so it's thicker than what i would normally work with when i'm doing like beginner friendly tutorials but it's still very much beginner friendly um it kind of reminds me of the consistency of oil paint um i don't know if, if any of you have ever worked with oil paint but if you have you know it's a bit thicker um but it's still acrylic paint it still dries very much faster than um oil paint but it's definitely heavy body and definitely pigmented so i'm going to work on getting my entire background filled in and then we'll move on to the next step together in a few all right now once you have it completely filled in with black and you can see that black is really vibrant it's really shiny um and it's again it slid right on there like it really went on there very smooth so hippie crafter you've got a crafter in me um but what i'm gonna do before i um actually let this dry completely i am going to add a little bit of white on because i wanted to have a bit of a highlight so i'm gonna take some of my titanium white and i'm not gonna wash my brush i'm just gonna take some titanium white and i'm gonna just add that on there and blend it out really well while this is still completely wet you want to do this part while it's still wet um that way it'll blend in because you don't want this white to stand out a whole lot you want it to really blend into that background and almost become like a gray or a muted white in the background and you don't have to do it all over i just did a few streaks going up and down you can do it back and forth across it's up to you and now once you've done that all we're going to do is let this dry for a few minutes um so uh, as always if you don't want to take the time to let it dry grab yourself a blow dryer and just make sure you blow dry it on the cool setting or um, if you do want to take a little break, give yourself about 15 minutes away from the painting. Let it dry while you're away from the painting. Grab yourself an adult beverage if you're 21 and up. If not, just grab yourself some cranberry juice. She'll be all right. And we'll start back together in just a few. One eternity later. All right. So now that our canvas is completely dry, what I want to do now, I want to add some like illuminated kind of christmas lights or the illusion of illuminated christmas lights in the background so this time we're gonna do a little bit of finger painting now i've um put the rest of my colors on my plate so again my yellow my orange uh, my red my blue and a little bit of my green as well i have all of those colors on my plate now i'm going to start with the lightest color first that way i don't have to like wipe my finger off as many times if you are uncomfortable with you know finger painting or anything feel free to use a brush for this you just want to make sure that you're using a super small amount of paint so i'm going to take a little bit of yellow right on my finger and i even kind of dab some off on the plate just so that there's really just a small amount and what i'm going to do throughout the background of my canvas i'm going to go through and move my finger around oh look at that yellow oh look at that i'm going to go throughout and just move my finger around to kind of create the illusion of like lights and you can do as many or as few of these of each color as you like. Keep in mind, we are going to be placing a glass towards the middle. So you don't have to do a whole lot there. But look at that orange. I feel like I'm doing like a um, unboxing of eyeshadows or something and like swabbing it. But these colors are vibrant. They're vibrant. They're very pigmented. Hippie crafter great job great job with this thank you for this um so again i'm going through placing a few of these around and in between each color you can wipe your finger off because i'm going lightest to darkest i'm not really wiping my finger off in between the colors but it's completely up to you and you want to make sure that you rub it all the way around so that it's not like super super opaque when it goes on here 
You want to make sure it looks like an illuminated light. I'm going to jump over into a little bit of blue in a second. And they don't all have to be the same size. Some can be bigger, some can be smaller. It's completely up to you. Placing a couple dots where I'm going to put some blue at. And I'm going to go back and spread it out. Same with my green. colors as you would like if you want to add more it's completely up to you I think I'm gonna add a few more just a little bit I'm gonna take a little more red and throw it right in there and I'm gonna do a different finger get a little yellow and kind of do a do a small one over here on the edge so I'm just doing a small one there. But again, once you feel like you have as many or as few of these like illuminated Christmas lights as you'd like, uh, we're gonna do one more quick break. This should only take about five minutes to dry. Again, if you want to grab the blow dryer, you definitely can. But you want to make sure all of your paint is completely dry before we start to actually draw it on with the chalk. Also, make sure you wash your hands before you touch yourself. I mean, even though I just touched my face. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch yourself because acrylic paint does wash right off the skin, but it does stick to clothing. It does um, just kind of dry up in there and these will become your new paint clothes. So you want to make sure you wash your hands off, let this dry for about five minutes or so, and then we're going to draw on our drinks. Few moments later. So once your painting um, is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and start to draw on our candy cane cocktail. So for this part, I am going to be using um, a piece of chalk. So you do want to make sure again that it's completely dry. Grab yourself a piece, a piece of chalk and we're going to draw our drink on. I'm going to be doing more of like a martini glass. So, I'm pretty much going to start off by making a really wide V. And remember, if your canvas is bigger, you can make yours bigger. If your canvas is smaller, you can make yours smaller. But I just made a really wide V. And then, to close it up, I'm going to make a curve. It's kind of curving up like a smiley face. And to close off the top, I'm going to curve over. So it's almost like I made a really wide football at the top of my glass. Now I'm going to pull a line straight down. And I'm going to make the foot of my glass as well. For the foot of my glass, I'm just going to pull an angled line out to one side, another angled line out to the other side. So it almost kind of mirrors the actual glass. Or you can even just make a, a triangle right at the bottom. Now, one thing I'm also going to do, I want to add my candy cane on there. So, for my candy cane, I am going to have it hanging off of the side here. So, I'm going to make almost like um, a hook or a upside down J, if you will. I'm going to start at the lip of my glass, not the very top, but the one on the inside. And I'm gonna pull a hook over. And I kind of curved it just a bit. Leave that just like that. Now I'm gonna repeat that same shape, this uh, same shape, but this time, you see how we have the corner of the glass right there? All I'm gonna do, since it's already hooked down in there, I am going to start from that corner, pull a line down, and kind of close that off. So it's like my little candy cane is kind of hanging out there. And that's pretty much it for your drawing. Now, if you would like to add anything extra, remember this is your painting. You can make it whatever you'd like. But um, if you don't, you just want to get it to that point. And now we're going to go back to painting. So I am going to go into more of a medium-sized round brush. 
for this part or you can use a flat brush it's completely up to you and the first thing that I want to do I want to get the base of my candy cane on there so I am going to go in and fill my candy cane in with white now keep in mind um, while we're working with this chalk you don't have to necessarily paint over all of the chalk if some of the chalk doesn't get covered that's completely fine because once your painting is completely dry you will be able to just wipe it away but if you don't want to have to worry about that um, or wait on that then you definitely can go ahead and paint right on top of the chalk it will cover it so i'm using my titanium white medium round brush and i'm just getting my candy cane filled in And while I'm doing this, I can tell you guys another little surprise. So, because it has been a while since I have done a tutorial with you all, and I'm so grateful for everyone who continues to paint with me, who shares my tutorial, who has patiently waited on another tutorial, I want to give you all something this holiday season. So, for this holiday season, every painting that i do i am going to actually be giving it away um so each one that i create i am going to give it away and all you have to do if you want any of the paintings from the tutorial all i want you to do is down in the comments below i want you to type i want it and um once i see everyone's comments i am going to choose a person at random um, so after all of the videos have been up, I'm going to choose a person at random on each video and I am going to let you know how you can get me your full name and address so that I can get this painting shipped out to you. So make sure you stick along these next five days to see which painting you love the most that you would personally like to have, especially for me. And I will get it to you this holiday season. All right. So now that we have that in white, we're going to give that a second to dry before we actually add the stripes on. But while that's drying, I am going to wash my brush out. So you want to wash it out in your water cup and then dry it on your napkin. Remember, you don't want to add too much water to this acrylic paint because you don't want it dripping down your canvas. Plus, you don't need too much with this. It's, again, really, really pigmented, super opaque. It's going on there really vibrant. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my cocktail. Now, my cocktail is going to be red. If you want your cocktail to be a different color, it is completely up to you. If you want to do green for the holiday, whatever you like, it's completely up to you. But I am going to do red. And I'm just going to make a line going across the inside of my glass and you see how bright and vibrant that red is right on top of the black it looks so good if you i definitely would suggest these paints if you are a beginner um if you are if you have kids that you want to paint with because of course what kid doesn't love all these vibrant colors um but even professionals if you are working on a project that calls for really opaque super pigmented um bright colors this is the paint for you I'm going to fill everything below this line in. And one thing I'm also going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of my white paint. So I'm not washing my bread off, but I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm going to kind of go back and forth with a little bit of white towards the bottom of my glass. Just to give it a little extra detail, give it a little extra pop. All right, and now once you have that part in there, again, the candy cane is still drying a bit. So as we're doing this, that part, as we're waiting on that part to dry, I am going to wash my brush off because I want to get that red off of there. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and outline the rest of my glass. Now I'm going to get a little more white. Now because this um, white paint, because their paint, um, period, the their acrylic paint is on the thicker, more heavy body side, I want to make some thin lines and sometimes that's a bit hard with um, heavy body paint. So I am going to actually take a little bit of water 
just a small amount and mix this in really good to kind of thin the paint down and make it a little bit more fluid. And I even do this step with my um, soft body paints, with my more fluid paints. So you can really do that with any acrylic paint. You just want to make sure that you're only adding a little bit and that you're mixing it in really well to the point of more fluidity and not necessarily running down your canvas. So once I, you got it how you want it, I'm going to go back and outline my glass. So I'm going right over all of these chalk lines. Now, if you want your glass to be a different color, you can do whatever color you like. It's completely up to you. But I am working with a little bit of white first. And then I think I am going to add a little pop of color. And as you get around um, like the actual drink, it is still wet. That paint is still very much wet. So you might pick up a little bit of red. That's completely fine. And if you don't like how it's coming out, if you feel like it's picking up too much red, you can always wash your brush off and pick up some new clean white. Or you can just go ahead and let it dry for a few minutes or hit it with the blow dryer. That way you don't mix it too much. And then I'm going to also do the stem and the foot of my glass. So I'm taking this right down. Now, the only thing I'm not going to do is that line, how I took it straight down the middle before. I'm not going to go straight down the middle. I'm just going to go right up to basically the top point of the um, foot or the top point of that triangle. And then I'm only going to outline the triangle. I'm not going to outline that um, line that I took straight down the middle. All right. Now, one thing I'm also going to do with mine. I am going to add a little pop of green. So I'm going to wash my brush off again. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. Same way I did with the white. I want to mix a little bit of water in with my green. And I'm just going to very, very lightly go over some of my white lines. And you can honestly do this part with any color, especially any color that's in the background because it'll kind of look like the glass is highlighted by those colors. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make it look like all of those colors are kind of popping onto the glass. So I washed my brush out and now I'm adding a little bit of water to some of the orange. I'm going to add a little bit of orange in there. Let's add a little blue. I'm gonna wash it and go into some yellow. And remember for this part, whichever colors you use, you do wanna add, if you're gonna be using a heavier body paint, if you're gonna be ordering some hippie craft paint, um, uh, you want to make sure uh, that you add a little bit of water to it to kind of get it to glide right on there. All right, so now that we got that on there, we should be able to go back onto the candy cane. Now, if you feel like your candy cane is still a little bit too wet, then you can continue to give it a little bit of time to dry, or like I said, hit it with the blow dryer. But if you think it's fine, then what you're going to do is go in and begin to create stripes. I'm going to start from the bottom here. And I'm pulling stripes over at an angle. Now, if you get anything outside of the candy cane, um, don't stress yourself too much because you can always use a little bit black brush or a little brush to go in with black paint and kind of outline the candy cane. Since your background is already um, black. If you did a different color black background, then you want to either be really careful um, or 
you can use a little bit of the color that you originally used for your background to outline your candy cane and kind of clean up any of those red lines. going to go back in with a little bit of my black and for this part you can you need to add a little bit of water to your paint if you're using heavy body acrylic you can add a little water to help you line it better but I'm going to go back in and kind of clean up anywhere where I feel like the black or the the red got outside of the candy cane and onto my background And same thing with the glass. If you feel like anything got outside the glass and you want to kind of outline that, you definitely can. It's completely up to you how you choose to like clean up everything. All right, so I think that's good. I'm gonna go in and add a little more white, like a white highlight to the bottom of my drink. Alright, now once you have all of that on there, um, if you want to add anything extra to your painting, if you want to add any words, if you want to add Merry Christmas, Merry Xmas, Happy Holidays, um, anything that you want is completely up to you what you add. Um, but also, once your painting is completely dry, if you can still see any of your chalk lines, you can take a wet um, napkin, a cold wet napkin or a cold wet rag and wipe it off. But you do need to let the painting dry completely first. But one last thing I'm going to also make sure to do before I am finished is I'm going to sign my name. So you can sign your name or initials right in the corner of your painting. However you choose to sign it is completely up to you. But once you have signed it, you are all done with your candy cane cocktail. Thank you all so, so much for painting with me today. Again, thank you to Hippie Crafter for sending over these beautiful paints for me to work with and these amazing canvases as well. I'm so grateful for you all. And don't forget that we are going to be um, doing a few more paintings together using Hippie Crafter. So make sure you tune in to the rest of five days of Christmas um, and also turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss the next tutorial. And don't forget, I'm going to be giving away all of these paintings. So if there's any painting that you like throughout all of the videos, remember you're going to be able to comment, I want it in the comments. And then I'm going to pick um, five different people on each video. Well, I'm gonna pick one person on each video at random and I will let you know how to get me your full name and address so that I can ship you your painting for the holidays. I hope everyone is having a happy, happy holiday season so far and I will see you in the next tutorial.